And we're back with another Leaks of the Week. This week, we're just continuing off with Tokyo Avengers coming out May 13th, so real soon. So this week, we're just going to do the Booster and the Trial Deck Plus, both coming out same day. And we got a lot of spicy red double R's to show this week. Mm-hmm. If not all the double R's, huh? Yes. Yeah, the set's coming out really soon, so I guess they're just kind of pushing things up. Oh. Yeah. But... To start things off, we got this sick ass level three Mikey. This card is so sick. Um, three two ten k double R. When he's placed from hand to stage heal, second effect. Uh, at the end of this card's attack, if you have the standby in your climax area, you can pay three, ditch one. If you do, look at up to top three cards of your opponent's deck. Choose up to three characters whose power sum up is equal to or lower than x and put them in your opponent's clock in any order that's in the rest of the waiting room and x is equal to this card's power you must so, also resonate with itself oh my goodness thank you checker so pay three ditch one and reveal another level three mikey in your hand that specific mikey thank you mm-hmm. this card is too sick <laughs> oh, very fitting of the character you know he's such a badass he just messes everyone up and yeah i mean that's what this level three mikey does at the end of his attack you mean the cost is really heavy paying three and ditching one and revealing him um but the payoff can be really high it can essentially almost be three guaranteed damage and even if you do hit a climax the climaxes you reveal do get sent to the waiting room so it's kind of like you made them cancel it anyways you know like you waste their climax so either result's good um, of course, you know, this Mikey only being 10k base, hopefully you get like a level three assist behind him to make him like 12k. Um, he does combo with standby, so he's not going to get any extra juice from that. So if you reveal multiple level threes, that might be an issue, of course. And of course, this card does not work against events. So you're finding an event heavy deck kind of like Danmachi or the day I became a god, <gasps> you might run into some issues. Um, so I don't think this is the best level three because there are some issues with it and the cost is really heavy Mm. but i think it's a sick ass card it's pretty cool yeah i guess some matchups like yeah event heavy decks you're like attack pay three or end attack pay three ditch one reveal that that feels bad there's no way yeah those are gonna be like hard counters feels really bad or yeah and freaking you just hit one like oh that's gonna be so much cost and everything just hit one you know Mm -hmm. um but I do see high hopes for this card. I mean, um, it's going to be standby, so you juice them up with a lot of really strong back row assists, then hopefully you can at least hit like a level 3, a level 1, and something else. But if you're fighting maybe like another standby matchup, and they have a whole bunch of 2-2s and 1-1s, and of course level 3s, then it might be hard for Mikey to hit multiple characters, you know? So I don't, I do see the flaw in this card, but it's a sick-ass card. Yeah. Yeah, anything to add, checkers? No, I mean, yeah, against some decks, it'll definitely be pretty, pretty bad effect. Um, but against decks, it's like the most ideal thing to happen to those top three that you reveal, right? Like you're gonna kill the characters, send it directly to clock, get rid of any climaxes. It's such a crazy effect if it goes off. Yeah, the highs are just, like, so high, but the lows just feel bad. I mean, at technically... When you, you don't are, have to do it in those three. matchups, though. You might have ways to play around it. Maybe you'll set up a different game in for that one. It just depends on the rest of the set, though. Well said. Maybe they'll do, like, a 3-3-2 three, three, lineup. Like, three standby, three of another standby, two something else, like World Trigger, maybe? Maybe. Because uh, it is very matchup reliant. Yeah. Hmm. Good thinking. Yeah. So, cool card. I'm uh, really looking forward to seeing this card. Uh, what do we have next? Oh yeah. Next up, we have the zero zero Mitsuya. 1500 power. Uh, it has a resonate. You reveal the level three Mikey in your hand at the third climax phase. If you do, choose two revenge characters to get plus 100 power. And he's a pay one tap himself brainstorm every climax you hit salvage a character. I mean, it's okay. Um. Clearly for the Tokyo Manji Gang deck. So, I mean, it's okay. 500 power is not that nice. 
Um, so I think there's better brainstorms like the Emma brainstorm we saw last week, but um, it's here for you, I guess. And it's a selfish brainstorm, so it's playable at the very least. Yeah, for sure. That uh, that Emma will probably just work way better in the standby deck, anyways. Yeah, I think so. That card is too nice. But it's a nice try. Yep, nice try, guys. Next up, zero zero Mikey. This card is kind of cool and also very fitting of Mikey as well. Um, zero zero two five continuous. All your characters cannot side attack. But when he attacks, you reveal top, and that is a revenge character. All your characters get plus 1,500 power. So pretty huge power boost in one card. And he himself is not that bad base power. I mean, him being 25 is respectable, too. Mm -hmm. So um, I think this card's okay if they have... I mean, we do know they have a couple top checkers, I think, like the 00 Nato and stuff. But Ben um, also does, so... Oh, you're right. Emma also does. So maybe like a tech one or two. Yeah. Um, but I don't see it being staple. But I do see it being a tech card. It's pretty nasty when it goes off. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be running standby, maybe you need the extra global juice. And this Mikey might be the answer. Oh, this next Mikey, I think is so sick. 2 1, 6K. Um, it's a level. It's a 2k assist in front of him for level 3 cards, but also he gives your center character an encore. Um, I mean, I think this card's really nice. Him being a level 3 assist is, you know, already playable, but giving that extra center character an encore gives it that much, that extra sauce to make it really strong. So I say high hopes in this card. I think it's really good. Yeah, definitely a nice uh, target for your back row and standby. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Get it out level one, too? Shit, man. Uh, at least gives Han Encore, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unlike some other, like, assists that are like this. They just don't do anything. Yeah, it's just for the power. Mm-hmm. Um, or, I mean, like, if you have, like, a level one in front of it, like, it just doesn't do shit. But at least this guy will always oh, get yeah, yeah, yeah. Ball, you know? I see. Because there's sometimes it just doesn't do shit. Uh-huh. So, uh, that makes this Nike pretty nice. And next up, we got this Baji 227K. Um, during your opponent's turn, when this card is reversed, you can discard a card. If you do, rest him at the and at the start of your next Encore phase, send him to Waiting Room. Huh, surprise, it's not memory. Anyways, uh, Resonate, reveal the 3-2 Mikey from your hand. At the start of your Climax phase, you can pay cost. If you do, he gets plus 6K. Um, this card, not so nice. I'm not really feeling this card. Um, he's got, like, ghetto hand Encore, but he's... Uh, very low juice, and if you can't resonate with him, he just kind of really sucks. So yeah, yeah, this budget sucks. Oh. And that's it for that day. All right, moving on to the nineteenth, we have this Draken with in the bath. Uh, zero zero two K power. When he's played on stage, you can mill the top two cards, and it gets plus, or he gets plus X power, where X is the number of revenge characters milled. And his other effect is when he attacks, you can choose one of your other revenge characters, and they get plus X power. And X is equal to the number of your other revenge characters times 500, so 2K max if you have a full field when this attacks. Um, pretty whatever. It's kind of. Um, it's, it's like the purpose is to pump something else, but I don't think this is going to be better than that Mikey we already saw. That one mills one and it's a global 1500, which could be easier for, uh, like for you to wipe the entire board instead of just pumping one of your characters and the mill two for no, like he can be 4k on when he's played, which is fine, but it's just probably not that worth it to be honest there are other cards i think to kind of run over stuff for sure mm -hmm. agreed um there's better options than this for sure especially yellow i think mm. Mm. next up this one oh mikey 
1k power. When he's played on stage, you can reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a revenge character, choose one of your opponent's front row front row characters, and it gets minus 6k to uh also I think uh, along the same lines as that Draken, it's like you're either trying to kill something low power, I guess, or um help one pop of your characters something. get over it. Yeah. Like it, you can yeah. pop something, but it has to be in the front row, so it's not that big of a deal. I think you're not gonna have problems being able to run over uh like I don't think this deck or this set is gonna have problems getting over things. It's kind of what the whole set's about is being strong and powerful. And this is definitely not one of those options, I think. Like it's so yeah, weak I on its own. Use... Yeah. One K Jace is too bad. You yeah. you really only want to use it if you're popping like killing something to get the direct attack in, but how many sets like that's only gonna work for a little while and even then it's probably not worth using him in your deck for that these cards i mean you want more juice just went to zero zero um uh, by key we talked about yesterday yeah that one's for sure better still i just realized that emma brainstorm every time you play climax you get checked off too uh-huh so sick yeah, dude. It's so cool. sick. It actually, yeah, that makes that Mikey so much better. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Yeah. It definitely. also makes this next card better. Ooh. Uh, oh my god. Right. Uh-huh. The the one one double R Draken. 3500 power. Uh he combos with the standby. The combo is that he gains standby trigger in any uh wherever he is. Um, so when you trigger him. And continuous, if you have five or less stock, he gets plus 4k power and hang encore. Um, this Draken is... He's okay. I'm, I'm struggling with how good this card sh is. Like, he doesn't... I'm not on the fence, too. Yeah. Like, the five or less stock, I mean, he's an ideal card to get out super early, right? You stand by him out at level zero. Uh... He's for sure going to have the power in the hand encore for a couple turns. And you're relying on playing his standby. So that way when you trigger him, you get more standbys. So I guess like he kind of is fine later in the game. But if you're running this, like I'm sure the idea here is to run eight standby. Uh, so that way you get 12 standby triggers with this Draken. You probably shuffle him into the deck get and use the Emma to guarantee uh, more Draken triggers to get more standby out. It Honestly, the hardest part, I think, is going to be the timing. Because for it to kind of work, like later in the game, he sucks. You don't want to hand on Quarm to keep him around because he's going to lose the power eventually once you start getting more attacks in. He loses the hand encore too. Yeah, the, the, the effects are tied. Sucks. It's just uh, I don't know. Great early game, but the scaling on this card is it's still good though because you can play twelve standby. Mm -hmm. But it just kind of sucks. Like the whole idea is you cheat out expensive cards, right? Mm -hmm. So, and I mean clearly the wood con that Boucher was going for for you know Draken Mikey standby is. The freaking level three and he costs three to attack. Like you yeah. wanna kind of stock up on the stock, you know? Yeah. And he kind of is counterintuitive. Counter, yeah, you know. So mm -hmm. it's a weird balance for sure. Um, I think the potential is there though for sure. I think you can make it work. Yeah, it, it might be. It might be good enough. I mean, twelve standby might be good enough. I mean, just use him for level one, and then you start cheating out level twos, right? And then. Yeah. That's like in an ideal situation, but like after you refresh and like he's your only target, it's gonna start feeling bad. At that point, you're just kind of looking for one one seven fives at least. But mm -hmm. uh, it's good, I think. I think it's good enough to be ran. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I, I, I it's so. probably still good. Yeah, it's it's hard, it's hard it's to tell. It's good. just hard to tell, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> it could have been better. But it's still good. And he has no soul icon. What's up with that? Yeah, you have to have that standby to in to for him to get, you know, the soul. Because I think you still get the soul, right? No, you just get the trigger. What? Yeah. Oh, you're right. You trigger. Uh, that kind of hurts. Yeah. No, that'll make this 
card even juicier, but no, you don't get the soul. You just get the soundbite, which is good enough, right? But the soul would have been nice. Mm. Yeah, so it's good, but it could have been better, huh? Yeah, I think so. Maybe they're just trying to be a little more tame. Because some of the other cards are pretty are really good too. Maybe they realize their mistake was Quince, huh? Tall standby, too strong. A little too strong. A little too strong, huh? Mm-hmm. Next up, we got another O3 double R. 3 2 Mikey and Draken. 10k power. When they're played on stage, you can heal one. And when this attacks, you can pay three, discard two cards, deal two damage to your opponent, and then choose one card in your opponent's waiting room and place it on top of their deck. This card is up like, um, if it goes off, it's a very good uh, level 3 off combo finisher. It also heals mm -hmm. and it has a finish. Um, and that effect is crazy. Burn 2 and put 1 on top to either maybe help the level 3 Mikey hit another target. Or, you know, that's that could be an extra, like, help you make sure they don't cancel your next character's attack. Uh, this is a really good card. Um... I think it might be a little hard to like it, it. I think of this more as a backup option rather than something you want to use at the same time as let's say the level three Mikey, because that's a so much stock and you're ditching two. So much stock and so much hand. It's like it's really difficult to kind of get that ideal turn. So I yeah I would I would think this is more of like a backup in those. I Matchups, yeah, you know, where he's not going to do that well. You can just use this instead. True. I kind of wish one of them stock healed, huh? Yeah. To make it, like, less painful in stock situations. But, yeah. Eh. I mean, they need a lot of hand, too. But at the same time, you wanted a backup level 3 finisher in conjunction with Mikey. You could just use that 3-2 Mitsu Mitsuyo we talked about last week. On play, mill 2, and then deal X, X comic slow icons, right? I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. This is more guaranteed though, but I mean, boy, that stock though. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, we'll see, but it's just like, oh, they just both cost so much. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, I mean, this card is good for sure. Um, yeah, this card's good for sure, but uh, we'll see. If anything, we could splash them in other builds, right? Yeah, it's still a good. It's always great to have off combo finisher. I can be so much hand and stock too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We need to run the goon squad with the level three Mikey. Okay, just goon all squad. the stock. Goon squad, I just run three of these. These are your game enders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not going to have enough triggers to run Mikey combo. But um, yeah, it's a cool card. I guess. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Next the uh, one one event. Uh when you play it, search your deck for up to one climax. Uh pretty simple. Um uh, player's choice, right? Yeah, player's choice. If you wanna get more consistency with your combos. But it always kind of hurts to have a s slot as this 1-1 one, one event. Like, it's... Meh. I'm not a fan of yeah. having these in the deck. It's okay. I tried on my Niki deck for a bit. It's kind of nice um, at times, but it hurts because you you know the hand once again. Yeah. So. Yeah. Because in the Niki deck, I used the standby deck, and it's like, oh god, like I'm running low on hand, and stock this is kind of the same thing because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. with the standby you know yeah for sure i guess technically you could use in any build but you know it's okay a player's choice for sure kind of nice though sometimes next up from the td zero zero draken 500 power uh when you play a climax you can look at the top two cards of your deck and put them back in any order and his other effect is a brainstorm pay one rest look at top five and for each climax, you can draw one. 
Um, kind of, I, I think it's a worse Emma for sure. Uh, the first effect is cool because you are trying to get a lot of triggers with all with both builds like choice and standby. So it, it's nice to control the order, I guess, to know. Actually, it doesn't matter. Maybe just for that level zero Mikey. No, this card's whatever. Um, I think it's good because the top is like you always want to trigger snap by second, right? You don't really want it to be your first trigger. So it kind of helps in that situation. Oh, yeah. That would be a but, useful one. Mm -hmm. It's like the IA move in Love Live. But draw brainstorm is so trash. Yeah, no, I mean, close, but no cigar. It's almost. Maybe they're going to need all that extra hand to uh, ditch for uh, Mikey and the Draken, So That's true. But nah, it's, it, uh, it sucks too much. The inconsistency you put in your deck for this yep. is not worth it. Mm -hmm. But Bushi loves putting these stupid draw brainstorms in the TDs. Oh, yeah. Might as well. Yep. Don't put it in the booster. I guess. How about they just don't waste our time with it? <laughs> uh... And then lastly for this day, level 3 Drekken, 10k power. When this is placed on stage, look at the top X cards on top of your deck and add one to your hand. Send the rest to waiting room and X equals the number of revenge characters that you have on your stage. Uh, so if he's played last and you have a full field, you can look up to five cards. And his other effect is when he attacks, you can discard two cards, uh, mill seven, from your deck and deal X damage to your opponent where X is the number of climaxes milled. So another off combo finish. Uh, this is also, it also has a way to potentially grab climaxes or another card you might be searching for. Ditching two is, there's no cost on it. Um, the effect, the finish is not that good, honestly. I've played with these before. <laughs> hate these. Hate these. Because you, it feels bad when you... I guess it's not the worst. Like, either you're milling through seven cards that you were going to take damage, maybe. But, honestly, I don't think this card's that worth... Maybe, like, one for the first effect. And then yeah. the last... The second one's just a little icing you can use in some situations i agree definitely like uh it, the second effect is like a hail mary right like you dealt as your last turn so you just yellow it yeah yeah you hit something cool if not well whatever you're gonna lose anyways <laughs> and the first effect makes the second effect a little lighter oh, that's true you know why i think this card's gonna be legit in? uh what the baji deck next week oh shit that's an extra attack essentially and you know and you grab the pants with Baji. I don't remember. We'll see, we'll talk. We'll go. We'll visit this card next week. But oh. I think it's better <laughs> in that build. But as a standalone card, I think it's good too. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's it's okay. It's good. Actually, I think it's good. <laughs> next up, we got this one O Mikey backup. I think this card is pretty insane. Uh, for, it's a 1k backup, first of all, but when you use this backup, you can ditch two. If you do, choose one of your opponent's character whose level is higher than your opponent's level and send it to memory. Like, what the F? Doesn't take any stock, and you can use that level one, and it goes to memory? I think this card is really good. Um, yeah. Oh my god. It's, yeah, it's minus three in hand, yes, because you got to use the backup and ditch two. But you could ditch anything, and it goes to memory, so they can't encore it, which is, of course, very popular nowadays with cards that come out early. So this Mikey just kind of says F that, and there you go. You, you take one less attack, so next turn it's easy to clock, so you could just refill the hand, you know? So mm -hmm. I think this card's freaking insane. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, I have... In Damachi, they have the same thing, but it's not as good. You have to ditch two characters, and you send it to bot deck. Mm -hmm. um, so that, it kind of sucks in that, but the fact that you can ditch anything is kind of crazy. Like, you can 
fucking get rid of climaxes that are still in your climaxes hand. of ends it's just so much to memory easier. is better than bot deck for sure like way better mm-hmm. yeah as long as you can have the hand even if it's like Ditching two or di- going down three to get rid of your opponent's early play and anti encoring them, that's like it's a really w- worth backup for sure. Yep, you take one less attack too. It's, I think this card's super good. Mm-hmm. Next up, oh yeah, um, zero zero. I don't even remember who this guy is, Mucho. <laughs> um, when it's like from hand to stage, you can discard a card. If you do, look at top card that. You reveal top card, sorry. Then choose one level X or lower character from your waiting room, add it to hand, and X is equal to the level of the revealed card. Uh, I think cards like these are always pretty good. Um, it's a good way to salvage cards. And even hitting a zero is okay. Just grab something like a utility card, and anything higher is always nice. It's just kind of weird that he's 1K, because I feel like cards like this are 2K base. So I really don't know why he's so weak. Um, but you know, it's 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 good for that. It's just here for that effect, you know. Mm. I really don't know why he's one K though. Like he should be two K, but whatever. Kind of hurts the playability of the card a bit. Oh, next up we got the best boys in the entire <laughs> series. One old pay on baby. Um, two K, uncommon, continuous. All your two one pachins get plus four K power, which we'll talk about in a second. A second effect, when you play from hand to stage, you can't pay costs, which is shuffle two revenge characters in your way room to your deck. If you do, choose one of your revenge characters, I guess plus 2k power. And lastly, it's a brainstorm, pay one, uh, mill top three. If there is a 2-1 Pachin below amongst them, choose a 2-1 Pachin in your waiting room and place it onto any slot. So I guess we'll go over the 2-1 Pachin first. Very simple, 2-1-8-5, vanilla, one soul. So, I mean, this card's pretty funny, right? Um, it turns your Pachings to 2 one twelve fives, And you can cheat them out by brainstorming. And keep in mind, this brainstorm is spammable. <laughs> so you can just keep... Yeah, you can keep going and going and going <laughs> until you hit the boy. And, of course, it's that much easier to hit the boy because his on play shuffles two of them back. So oh, you could build your whole deck to shuffling to mill, 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 mill. Play two of these one yo pay on, shuffle four back, brainstorm once or twice, or just once, hit three, two, one, twelve, five, level one, OP. You have two of these pot pay ons, two, one, potchings, 16, five for one stock. Good game. Like, yeah, that sounds bonus. pretty broken. Not gonna lie. I mean, not going to lie, that is really annoying for your opponent to deal with and borderline impossible for most decks to deal with. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that he's only hitting for one soul is kind of what, yeah, turns this card, like, is like the downside of this card. Yep. Yep. So almost there. If this was two soul, though, I think this card be, this combo might be legit and kind of broken. Um, But I mean, it's just a funny thing. I don't recommend it, but I'm sure it's. I'm sure someone will try it out. Domo will. Yeah. What do you think, Chuckers? Nah. It's yeah. Not doing anything besides thickness. Yep. Pretty just funny. big bodies. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty funny though, for sure. Huh. The more I think about it, it's kind of legit. But no, no, no. I, I don't think so. <laughs> I kind of think I'm sorry to kind of see it though. I kind of convinced myself, but I mean, nah. the, the engine itself is dope. It's very easy to get this out. Right? It really is. But that's so lame. I mean, look at these guys. You don't want this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're they're definitely one of the lamer couples in this show. Dude, uh-huh. you're gonna have to minus city to. Oh wait, but he spammed brainstorm. That is actually never mind. Yeah, he spammed. This is so see? crazy, dude. Never mind, dude. You're ne- dude. You literally don't have to do anything. You just get a full field of these out. Your and opponent you can't use... kill them. And then you spammed brainstorm whenever you're out of climax. 
Hold up. Yeah, wait. Hold on. Wait, what if you run this guy with, like, pads so, or gold bar? Wait, they don't have green. With pads, so the one soul is not that bad since you just keep playing climaxes every turn. Oh, yeah. And just run eight pants. Oh, hold that. Okay, one every wait. turn? And then you, you run it with the body, and then you'll have so much stock, so you don't have to use any more stock for the rest of the game. Uh-huh. Wait, this might be a thing. We've done it again. Oh. This is it. Okay, I actually think this is kind of legit. Huh. You, yeah, because I was thinking, oh, if you trigger a climax, you're going to have to play over these anyways to get it out. But you don't, because you just brainstorm. Uh-huh. 2 one, 16 fives? What do you do? Oh, my God, dude. Mm. This is sick. Okay, <laughs> these are the best boys. <laughs> oh. What? I am a... Huh? From home. Uh, I mean, not every set has that, right? Yeah, that would be the yeah. only set. Or a mirror match, since you gotta we'll see that next week with Mikey. Oh. Uh. Yeah, or next next tomorrow's card. Bust these on okay. your friends, dude. This will be sick. Oh, dude, 100%. You're going to win every th- game with this. No one's going to see this shit coming. <laughs> and Iron Man has to come out level 2. Where are they going to do level 1? Nothing. Mm-hmm. They'll die. Oh, next up, we got the beast himself, Smiley, 2-2, two, two. 6k, 2 soul. Two more revenge character, gets plus 3k, so he's 9k, hand encore, and when he attacks, you can pay one, and you get two trip checks. So, I mean, pretty neat, right? Um, Kind of like Niji, you get, you have your two twos with hand encore, and you pay one to twin drive, but it's even that much better in this set, because they have 12 standbys. Mm-hmm. So, I think this card... It's kind of legit. Might be the prime 2-2 target because with 12 standbys and you have twin drives, it's like, what the F, right? Because Niji gets a fat board by twin driving. Quince get a fat board by having 12 standbys. And Tokyo Avengers might be able to just do both since they have access to both, right? Yep. Yeah, so I think this might be legit. Yeah, this is the prime prime 2-2 for sure. I think so. Next up, 1-0, Mitsuya, 2-5. Oh, uh, this card is just weird. Uh, when your character's trigger checks a climax of the two trigger icon, you can discard a card, a revenge character. If you do, choose one character from your waiting room, add it to hand. And second effect, pay, discard a card, rest two of your characters, choose one character in your opponent's waiting room with the same name as a character on your or your opponent's stage, and add it to hand. I mean, I don't really know why it's card to be level one and so low power. I mean, I like the idea that you're trying to make, you know, because they have assists like these for gold bars and for pants. And two soul icon kind of sucks balls. So they're trying to give it a little love with something like this. But why do they discard a revenge character? They should have made it discard anything, you know? Oh <laughs> like, my god. Like, yeah, because the other ones you could discard anything. But this sometimes one has to be a character. Okay, yes, sometimes. But double soul being debatably the worst one, they yeah. could have gave it a little more love, you know. Yeah. And the second effect, resting two characters, I think hurts a bit too much. Um, and you just break even, you know. Uh-huh. And the whole opponent stage thing is kind of weird. Dude. I guess as Checkers mentioned, uh. Maybe this is for title cups. <laughs> Dude, uh, that second effect will work. You on run title cups. You just or run in every standard card. format, and then you can you beat mean, whatever. Like a Highlander deck. Yeah, you can do a Highlander, Tokyo Avengers deck. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. I don't. This doesn't make sense. Never mind. You know, I do think if one set had a Highlander build, that'd be actually kind of cool. Yeah, it would. It would suck. But it'll be sick. <laughs> and lastly, from the TD, we have 2 1 Baji. For each of your other back row characters, he gets plus 2 5 power. So the full back row, he's 2 1 10 5, but sadly, a measly 1 soul, so no good. Busted. Busted. All right, for the 21st, we got 00, 2500, Duraken, and Mikey. 
when this card is played on stage, all players resolve the following effect. If you have five or more memory, choose four cards from your memory and send all other cards to waiting room. And the other effect is on play, pay one, discard a climax. You can salvage a climax, climax swapper. This card is pretty good. Um, it's a nice tech card um, alone just for the climax swap. It's always a good card. It's 2,500 base. Uh, which that is, doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's thick, but and it has another effect. So, and that it's effect, really good. yeah, the effect is really good against some of those crazy compression memory sets, like this kind of fuck them. Yeah, if at least they have to tame them. it, yeah, yeah, they have to only play around with having four, mm -hmm. and that kind of f's over some decks. So this is, yeah, this cards are really. It's just a good tech card for sure. It's kind of insane. Like mm. it can, it just forces some decks not play do the game plan against you. Mm -hmm. And he's two five power. Why is Kobayashi so shafted? Hey, why can't? Well, let's just word it as why is Tokyo Revenge so strong? Why is Tokyo Revenge so strong? There we go. Uh, yeah. I mean, I understand. Those you know, super memory decks are not fun to fight against. <laughs> but geez, I mean, I mean, this card is cool. This card is so good. Mm. Yeah, we should make this it, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next up, two one dragon two K power. It's a twenty five hundred backup, and when you use this backup, reveal the top card of your deck if it is a revenge character add it to your hand and you can discard a card or and discard a card um meh, it's whatever it's eh. I, eh. I like these are always okay right it's okay i mean there's pluses to it being level two it's 500 more power that's a bit more useful than 2k but you also can't use it at level one which could help you filter out a climax from your hand at the last second. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it's it's fine. It's a fine card. It's like a somewhat spammable defensive backup, kind of. Um, it's fine. Yeah, if you want to run it, go for it. Mm -hmm. It's it's good. Next up, one zero Emma and Mikey, thirty five hundred power. Uh, when you play this card, you can discard one card from your hand and then search your deck for a level one or lower place it on stage in any slot and then shuffle your deck uh and one level zero or lower oh my god never mind it's not cost no nascar and sucks he's, yeah he's only three five two what's up with that you to play it on stage dude oh my god yeah mm. not worth nah is a nah. shit card. Yeah. Now a not so shit card. We got a this two card to is, one. <laughs> card is stupid. I think this card is stupid. It's pretty crazy. Two one Takemichi and Mikey. Fifty five hundred power. Uh, it's a five hundred global, and you can pay one to you pay one rest him or them. Choose one of your opponent's level one or higher characters. Your opponent chooses a level X or lower character from their waiting room and swaps the two characters, and X is the chosen character's level minus one. These cards are, or these effects are really good. Um, it's just, you don't have to deal with some early plays, and even, not even early plays, just like you just take a card away. Um, you can even hit back row characters, which is the best part about this effect, I think to get rid of some level two or level three assists that come out. So honestly, and the fact that this effect is on wheels, you can do it every turn once you've played him and it's a 500 global. So it's not completely useless sticking around on your stage. This card is kind of crazy. It seems crazy. I think so. Like, dude, I am is already so good. Yeah. And like, yeah, her other effects are better and you hit two, but this is on wheels. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, it's on wheels. It's just good. And sometimes the Iome, you know, the conditions come out early, doesn't always happen. Yeah. 
but this one is just freaking yellow you know there's no conditions and you will have to rest himself i think if you had to rest two this car would be a lot worse but yeah you could pay one rest to him and then you can still brainstorm thing. you can still brainstorm like oh mm. this car is that is so sick but i don't look forward to finding this not at all no i mean you don't have standby decks i do it still hurts yeah it definitely hurts um yeah this card is this card is so good i think maybe i'm overvaluing it but i think it's really good you probably won't always need it but like imagine mushoku they got their paws boom oh gone. get rid of those assholes Kaguya, this is crazy combo, boom gone right like yeah you like, definitely want that card in your build for sure actually it's such a good tech card i can just mess up some matchups especially against some of the stronger decks too it's like it just kind of can own their game plan you know mm -hmm. and you can even pop two of these and just really go half uh, they got a level three you're afraid of some defensive backup turn it to a level two now you can side with your level threes right that's some, some stuff like that yeah there's a lot there's a lot i think you could do with this all right next up double o draken mikey and takemichi 2k power when this is placed on stage from hand or sent from stage to memory you can pay cost stage to waiting room stage to waiting room you can pay one discard a card and salvage a character uh so essentially this effect happens twice uh it's kind of neat i did not realize it works when it dies too yeah it's uh, two times so wow that makes more sense yeah like i think this is a good utility card to include um even just getting one of these off it, it you set up your hand so well for later uh, ever, whenever you use it actually like you don't always have to do it uh um when you play it you can do it like once it dies if you've triggered a climax instead mm -hmm. it's like this this is a pretty cool card i think mm -hmm. and this is just it's just neat it's pretty good i think yeah for sure it's, now that i realize that it's actually pretty good yeah fucking sick yeah and lastly the TV oh, has confirmed gosh. broken. We got flare and plus two soul. We're it's let's over. go. <laughs> All right, and for the last day for this week, we have zero zero chief Liu double R two K power. Uh, when he's placed on stage, it gets X power where X is all uh, not the number of your revenge characters times 500 so if you have a full field and you play them last two five plus um but the second effect is a clean cut so i think the shifu is pretty good it's definitely a decent clean cut um like you only need one other character to hit 3k, which is like the baseline for most clean cut cards, I think. Uh, you can get it even higher with uh, one more. It, it's a good, it's a good level zero attacker. Good to have clean cut. Clean cut will be super useful for standby decks, I think, to keep the cards around early. It is a good card. Good level zero. And sometimes the clean cutters have a hard time passable one, but this guy might not because he'll be four or five, mm, right? Mm -hmm. And he might even be able to smack some level ones with like a climax or some other juice, you know? Yeah. So I think this card's really good. Next up, zero zero Baji and Chifuyu, two K power. Uh, when they're placed on stage, choose one of your other revenge characters. It gets plus one K. And when you play a climax, you can return them to your hand and give one of your characters plus one soul. This card is pretty decent, I think, with standby for sure. 
uh, it frees, if you play him in the back, you give 1k to something, and it, when you play it standby, it comes back to your hand, and you get something else plus one soul. It's it's one of those... It's pretty standard yeah, nowadays. Yeah, pretty I'm standard. Saying, yeah. uh, like Every set kind of got one of these. Yeah, for mm-hmm. standby. I do think these effects are decent enough. Like, the extra power is nice. The plus one soul helps some standby decks push for power... Uh, push some damage early. It's 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 a decent card. Mm-hmm, for sure. And they got close now, guys. So mm-hmm. this is a target to clean cut, so you can just bounce it the next turn. Mm-mm-mm. If you need a little yeah, extra and, uh, juice, yeah, you do with a little three Mikey play. Maybe got that juice, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good card. Good card for the set. For sure. Fuck is this not good card? There it is. The 1 0 Chifuyu and Baji rare. During your turn, for each of your other revenge characters, this gets plus 1k. So if you have a full field, 7k on your turn. Climax combo with the Salvage Split Soul. Uh, at the end of the card's attack, you can reveal the top card of your deck. And if that card's a revenge character, add it to your hand. Uh, pretty garb. Uh, it's not that good. It's so weak on defense. At least you don't have to kill anything. It's at the end of your attack, but you can still miss if you don't reveal a character. And eh, it's just whatever, honestly. Nah, yeah, I like that. Guys? Oh, it's it's like you know, it's cool. Oh, it's look, seven k, but plus one o combos with a one k one hit seven k and salvage trigger split soul doesn't get power so. Mm-hmm. And you're filling your decks with double triggers, so yeah, no, nah. <laughs> no, <laughs> not the good. Yeah, two one Chifuyu from the TD, seventy five hundred power. Uh, when this place from hand to stage, it gets plus X. X is the number of your revenge characters times one K. So if you have a full field. He'll be 12-5. Uh, nah. I mean, it's nah. like TD cards, whatever. Has no other effect. Nah. Nah. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Sucks. Mm-hmm. And that's going to do it for this week. Uh, we got a sneak peek at the standby build that Bushy's trying to get you to make. Pretty mm-hmm. cool. I'm excited for that build. No way, no, I I'm not. So sick. I don't the Tokyo game, the Tokyo Revengers game is so cool. Uh, mm-hmm. The play style is just so flavorful and actually seems really strong. So, really strong? Seems strong. We'll play it safe. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, just it's just so sick. I think, um, you know, I think we, people can get creative with the builds too. They got enough spice to, um, you know, make it a little more fun than the standard um, eight standby deck, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's a lot of moving parts and a lot of different cards you can use to kind of make the build work the way you want it to, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we've seen a lot of the red climaxes and it doesn't seem like they're going to get gate, so you can't do like a four gate, four standby. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, good old Kaguya. Unfortunately, maybe Bushi saw that and thought it'd be too strong. Yep. But um, even then, I still think this set, I think this build is going to be so sick. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking back to last week, we got like the one Otakemichi that builds extra stock when he kills stuff. Um, so maybe the whole stock issue won't be a thing. So we'll see, but it's going to be so sick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, thank you for joining us for this week, guys. And hopefully we'll catch you next week. Peace out. Peace, peace.